Hey, it's Daniel from Zapier. I'm going to demo adding memory to the Cursor IDE using Zep's open source graph framework, Graffiti, and its new MCP server. I've configured Cursor to use Graffiti as an MCP server and provided some rules to the agent on how to use Graffiti as its memory. Graffiti framework allows you to specify models that you'll use as custom entities in the graph. So what I've done is I've created, for this particular MCP server, I've created a requirement model, I've provided instructions to Graffiti on how to add requirements to the graph. Each requirement has a project name and a description. I've also added preferences and procedures, which are step-by-step -step instructions to the agent on how to accomplish something. I want to build a tic-tac-toe application, and so I've asked the agent to develop a specification for the application. Um, I've asked it not to code yet, and so what it's done is it's uh, designed the application, and it's added the specifications to Graffiti's memory. This is the resulting graph. At the center, we have the tic-tac-toe application entity and a number of requirements arrayed around it. Here's the ch Chakra UI entity. When we look at the edge between the Chakra UI node and the application node, we can see that there's a fact that describes the Chakra UI is used for styling and components. There's also a validate date. And the reason why Graffiti keeps temporal metadata such as valid app dates is that as we add additional information to the graph, Graffiti will try and identify similar information and potentially invalidate facts that are no longer accurate. Let's try that right now and tell the agent that we're no longer using Chakra UI and we're going to use Shad CN rather. So the specification is updated, and let's go take a look at the resulting graph. So here's our Shad CN preference that's been added to the graph, and we can see it's really well connected into the graph already, uh, where the existing UI specifications are now connected into the Shad CN preference. In a new thread with the agent, let's ask it which framework we plan to use for the UI. and it searches the knowledge graph and here we go we're going to be using shad cn framework um, and it's a recent decision because previously we were going to be using the chakra ui framework so we've been able to update requirements using the temporal nature of graffiti's graph I've asked the agent to build the application. It's gone and retrieved from memory the specifications and built the entire application for us. And let's play some tic-tac-toe. So I've demonstrated using Zep's Graffiti Temporal Graph Library as memory for the Cursor IDE and used it to build a tic-tac-toe application. And here in the graph, we can see the specification for the application. This is a great use of MCP and uh, we're excited to be releasing our uh, Graffiti MCP server today. You can find the MCP server in the Graffiti GitHub repo. Start a repo if you find this useful. Thanks.